Hi, my name is Wataru Sakamoto, professor at the Institute of Plant Science and Resources. In our institute, we study various stresses that diminish plant growth. Because most of the plants develop roots in the ground, they cannot move away from harsh environments, such as strong sunshine, drought, too much rain, too much wind, and insect attack. To fight against such kind of so-called biotic and abiotic stresses, plants are equipped with various mechanisms by which they can survive and thrive in different environments. Among the various abiotic stresses that cause problems in plant growth, my laboratory focuses on light and study how plants acclimate to strong light. To gain basic knowledge in plant acclimation, we study photosynthesis and chloroplasts. Light energy is a driving force of photosynthetic reaction from which atmospheric carbon dioxide can be fixed as an organic compound. All these reactions take place in chloroplasts, a small green organelle in plant cells. However, plants are always exposed to too much energy that often cause photooxidative damage and eventually lead to the loss of crop yield. To minimize such photo damage in photosynthesis, chloroplasts have various mechanisms. We are trying to understand important factors controlling protection against photo damage in a model species like Arabidopsis thaliana and a green alga, Chlamydomonas reinhardia. In my laboratory, I have a second project for the application of our knowledge in plant stress. For this purpose, we focus on the cereal plant called sorghum, the fifth important crop in the world that has recently drawn good attention for high biomass, animal feeding, drought resistance, and its potential for bioenergy. Under this project, Many of our students come not only from Japan, but also from all over the world. Hi, my name is Fiona Washera, a PhD student from Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Currently, I am studying the seed quality traits in sorghum, which is a nutritionally important crop back in Kenya. Working in this laboratory has given me great experience in high-tech molecular biology techniques, which I previously did not have. We also combine lab work with field work, so we have an all-rounded experience in crop studies and uh, crop production. Other than that, I consider this lab to be international because we have many foreign students and native students, which is a good environment for studying and also for exposure to other cultures. We also have great support system from our professor and the other staff, both for our studies and for general life in Japan. And overall, I feel well equipped to help other young researchers, both scientifically, and I would encourage them to join us to advance their knowledge in plant stress science. Thank you. In my laboratory, you will learn basic knowledge in molecular biology, genetics, biochemistry and physiology, but also you will learn plant and climate change. Say no. Please join us at our group.